What's up everybody, I'm back. Man, check this out, I'm super excited. Look, it's Saturday morning, so instead of sitting in front of TV with a big old salad bowl full of Captain Crunch watching cartoons, I decided to go on a mountain bike ride. I wanted to show y'all my new bag. Daddy's got a new bag, man. And I'm really excited about this one because um, I've always, you know, every time I go out on a mountain bike ride or a run, I always wanted to carry some stuff with me, like my drone. I love taking my drone out, but you know, the fly more kit and any other backpack you come up with, it's just too big. Uh, or it's just not runner friendly or, or biker friendly. Um, and I want to pack a camera and maybe some other tech, right? Maybe a little tripod or something like that. Um, you know, I'm always wanting to carry some tech with me, but I need to have my other gear too, like water, okay? <laughs> and then you might, you know, like today I'm going on a mountain bike ride and this is, you know, this is fine right now because it's kind of chilly outside, but as I heat up, I want to take this off. So I need to put this somewhere. And of course you got your keys and all this other stuff, right? So I wanted a bag that was suitable for something like that. It's narrow, so it distributes the weight straight up and down your back, but it's not too thick. Uh, it doesn't come out too far, um, but it's just very runner and biker friendly because it's got all these supports and it's just made ergonomically correct for those activities. So let's start on the back side of this bad boy. By the way, I don't even think I said it. This is the Camelback Mule, baby. Okay, so it's got these contours, right? So if you got pecs, if you work out, you do your push-ups, right? You're gonna have some pecs. So if you got pecs, it's got this contour right here. Um, and then let's go down the whole side of this thing because there's some interesting stuff that goes on around here that a lot of people don't notice. Uh, and it's, you know, it just speaks highly of a high quality bag. So right here, you got your channeling system on both straps for your, uh, for your drinking tube. So you got one right here. You got, first of all, you got these two port holes. So you can channel it to either side. So you got one here and then I got one that's actually right here and it's all closed up. So then you channel it through here and then on the camelback side where there's a reflective material. Um, and then right here you got this, this clasp. Now most camelbacks are, are drinking packs. Um, you, this thing just flaps around and hits you all over the place. But here they've got this magnetic little slot right here where, and this is adjustable tool. You can take it off in case you need to wash it out or something like that. It goes right there and it's stuck in place. It, it kind of just, you know, it's, it just goes. You get it right where it needs to be and it just slides right in there and holds magnetically. That way if you're running, you ain't got to worry about this thing slapping in the face or, you know, just being all over the place. Then it's going to be where you put it last. Going down the drinking tube some more, we got, now we have a lever, which is basically a valve that opens and closes. Uh, that way, when you pinch that with your lips or your fingers, you can, it's like two little lips. <laughs> but anyway, that closes it off. So that's a secondary uh, method of making sure you don't have water all over the place. Um, and you know what, See, speaking of water all over the place, I went with Camelback because I know there's tons of, cam uh, tons of Camelback knockoffs. Uh, Camelback's been doing it since my military days and they've only gotten better. I had one of these types of devices. I went the cheap route, got the Walmart brand. I think it was like an Ozark trail or something like that. And uh, I had my phone in it and it leaked and it just destroyed everything in the bag. I trust Camelback, so that's why I chose to spend an extra couple of bucks to get this one in particular. Um, moving on down the strap. So you got these uh, chest straps. Now I'm a 46 inch uh, chest, okay? So this actually goes right up underneath my chest and you see I've got it maxed out as far as like, it'll stretch all the way here. It's got this kind of bungee system in there. But here, here you got your traditional um, just strap right there. So I've got mine stretched all the way to the max because my chest is a 46. That's if you're doing push-ups right. And then, of course, it's adjustable up and down. Now, you can remove this on this little slide right here, but you're going to have one hell of a time taking it off. So I suggest leaving it on there just in case you want it again. Uh, and coming down here, we do have we do have a waist strap. Now, I'm a 36-inch waist. Well, it's Thanksgiving time. Thanksgiving was like two days ago, so I'm more or less of a 38 now. But, <laughs> but uh, when I'm a 36 or a 38, doesn't matter because um, you have plenty of room right here. So, so I've already tested this out and like I said, I'm probably a 38 right now. So look how much room I have on both straps. So if you got a big old belly, this is actually gonna fit around you uh, pretty good because you still got a lot of room left. You probably get to a, maybe a 50 inch waist on this thing. Uh, and it has this uh, locking enclosure right there. And then what I like about this is sometimes you just don't want a waist strap. So you have this Velcro right here and you can just take it out of there if you want. I'm gonna leave mine on for right now, just for demonstration purposes. Uh, but one of the things I really like about the engineering of this bag, they think of everything. You know how you put your bag on and you loosen it up because you need to get it on, you know, especially if you're a big guy. You loosen it up so you can get it on and then you yank it down so you can get it nice and snug. 
Well, now you got all this extra strap hanging down, right? So you don't want that because it's just messy, right? I mean, I guess you don't mind, but you don't have to deal with it anymore because what they've done is included this little T Velcro right here, this T-shaped Velcro. So what you do is you roll it up to where it's not bothering you anymore and then you can just bring it around and Velcro it. That way you don't have to deal with any rubber bands or any crazy stuff like that or straps hanging down. I love that. Never seen that before on a bag. But that's basically, oh wait, we still got more. Oh, this is something can't wait to try out right here. So the back side of this thing, so you can see it's actually contoured. Can you see that contour right there? It's contoured to your back, but it actually has these, now you can't feel this on camera naturally, but um, it has these ridges, they're very deep ridges, which channel the air and sweat away from your body. So you got behind this mesh material right here, you're sweating, all this hot air coming out, and it basically wickens the air and sweat. That way you keep cool on your backside. Now let's turn this thing to the front, because this is where all the action happens. Okay, so right here, this looks like a, a flat that you pull down, but you can't, it's actually a pouch. So you undo it right here. Oh, before we do that, we gotta get here. So I don't like this. I like the concept, poor execution. These right here, okay, let me button it back up, okay. So once you've got this thing all suited and booted, you've got these little hooks right here on both of these little clips. Now this is actually for your helmet, your biking helmet. So your, the lip of your helmet, the front end goes up here and the bottom of it or the back of your head goes here. And then the little straps that hang down, they clip into these hooks. Now, I love the concept that you can just hook your bag on or a helmet on here, but the execution of this is terrible because it's so tight. It takes you like 10 minutes per side to get that thing in there. So poor execution on Camelback. I hope they improve it in the next model. Um, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, but let's undo these. This is actually a mesh pocket. Let me see, open that up. Now, you can just stuff something real quick. Maybe you got a baseball cap on or, I don't know, maybe a sweatshirt or something. You just roll it up, put it in there. Super stretchy. Um, super stretchy. Love the way that stretches out. Man, that is super stretchy. All right, so let's open up the first layer of storage here. All right, so nothing on this side. This is all just stitching right here, but I do appreciate the fact that they stitched it up nicely. Uh, you got these two mesh pockets. One is big enough to put your whole fist in there. The other one, not so much, maybe a few fingers, you can see that. And we got, this is for your, uh, if you are biking and you have an air pump, you can slide your air pump down there. Today I'm gonna use this for my Gorilla Pod actually. Or maybe I'll put my Gorilla Pod on here. I'm actually recording with my Gorilla Pod. So it's going in one of these. And um, again, I didn't even notice there was a pocket here, but you got a pocket here that goes about halfway down almost. Then you got a key ring lanyard right here. You can tuck that in, zip that up. Maybe put your phone or something in there. Man, I didn't even know that was there. I'm glad I did this. Okay, so, and then let's open up the next one, which is the biggest pouch it has. It opens up all the way. Whoop, nothing on that side of it. It's clear. But I do like the way that they have this uh, neon yellow in there. Cause with black bags or dark bags, it gets dark in there and you need to be able to see what you're doing. So we're gonna roll this up. That's actually another pouch. So nothing here, everything's flat. It's just one gigantic big open compartment. Uh, you can slide a lot of stuff in here because like I said, it opens up pretty fat on the bottom and that's just a big old open compartment. Now coming in here, okay, still got that neon yellow, but this little pouch, I don't know, sunglasses. I'm probably gonna put my, let me see here. Let's, let's kind of load this thing up, man. Let me, uh, so my drone, my drone is upstairs charging, but I got these two little baggies, which I'm gonna do a review for. Uh, for my drone. They're gonna go in here just like this. Um, let me zip that up. Don't need it no more. Zip that up. And then I'm gonna put my Gorilla Pod on this side in here. This is an eight inch tablet, but you can put probably a 10, maybe even a 12 inch tablet in this thing. It's big enough to fit. Uh, this is gonna slide in there nice and easy. I don't know if I'm gonna take it or not. I haven't made that decision yet, but it will fit if I wanted to. So let's just go ahead and put it in there just for review sake. Zip this up. And then I got my phone. Let's see, where are we gonna put the phone? Let's put the phone, we need to be able to reach the phone. So this is a Galaxy Note uh, 8. And you know how tall this phone is. It actually fits in this little pouch right here, sideways. Wow, okay, that's a big pocket. Okay, then I got my gear icons right here. I'll put those in there. And I was gonna put my, um, what is this, an A6, no, I'm recording with the A6000, it's the A5100. I was gonna put that in there, but I don't want too much tech in that bag, scratching my phone or nothing like that. So I might just put this, might just put this in the other pouch, we'll see. But we got some stuff in there right now, so that's good to go. Now let's go around to the hydration part of this thing. 
which, which is the last pocket. So all these are black. So the hydration tube is blue. The hydration zipper is blue. It only unzips halfway, see? It, only, it doesn't go all the way out there. But you open it up and you, let's pull it out. So it's got a little, man, it's, 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 all right, so got a little hook right there. That way it doesn't move around and it stays in place when it's in there. It's actually a really rigid material that it hooks onto. But let's take this out. So I love this. So all you gotta do is press this little button and no water comes out of there and it's already sealed up. Got your little gasket right there. That's nice. So we can put that to the side. We're gonna fill this thing up with some water. But this is called the Croy, is it Crew or Croy Design? Um, or maybe even the Crux, it's C-U-R-X, <laughs> Crux Design, where uh, they basically did the reservoir to be bigger on the top than on the bottom. That way it distributes the weight evenly and there's no sloshing around as you run or bike. So you got your, the tube goes in right there. Like I said, you got that quick detach uh, deal right there. And then you got this handle to where when you're filling it up, you just fill it up and it's easy to hold on to. And then you just put your lid on there. It's supposed to be a no leak lid. And I trust Camelback because I've had them before and they didn't leak. So that was amazing. And like I said, this, and this is a three liter uh, reservoir. So if you need, I don't know how much you're gonna need, but today I probably won't need, but maybe half of this. So let's go fill this thing up to halfway and pack it up and let's get going. So in Houston, if you want to get a pretty good uh, mountain biking experience, there's two parks you can go to that I know of anyways. Uh, the first one is Memorial Park, and that's where all the people go running and uh, mountain biking. I went there once, and um, there's just too many tree branches. But the second one, which is my favorite, is Terry Hershey Park. Now, I always say, when you go mountain biking, it's not a good ride if you either don't get injured or don't get muddy. Don't want to mess up my good shoes, so I'm going to go ahead and take these. After a full-on inspection for snakes, bears, uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex, etc., I found a spot to finish up this review, man. Hey, I am loving this bag. It fits snugly on my body, kept me hydrated through my little ride. Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I got a lot of stuff in here. Uh, the, the tripod I'm using right now is the Gorilla Pod. It actually went in this little pocket right here. And the, uh, the camera I'm recording on is a uh, A5, A5100, Sony A5100 with a 16 millimeter pancake man. And that actually went up in this top pocket along with my, I still have it in my ear, uh, along with my Samsung uh, Gear Icon X's. Uh, let me see what else I got in here. Uh, oh, my DJI Mavic Pro. I got the controller and the, uh, the drone itself. Um, I got my reservoir. I filled it up to about two liters. It goes up to three. And in this little pouch right here, got some snacks because I did need a heavy breakfast and I got the munchies right now. I love the way it sits on your body to where it actually just fits so snug and it doesn't move. I haven't tried this with running yet, but I just kind of jogged. I just kind of jogged around the house a little bit just to see how it would feel. And it doesn't move around very much at all. But I love the way this thing fits because it's but I love the way this thing fits because it's so snug and uh, you don't have to worry about anything flying around as you're on your bike ride or your run. Anyways, I'm getting out of here, man. I got to finish my bike ride. I didn't rode out probably, I don't know, two and a half miles. And I got to get back to my car. But remember, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I'm just a dude out here riding a bike, reviewing a bag. But before I get out of here, y'all go ahead and tap on that like button, smash on the subscribe button. Oh yeah, don't forget the bell too. You gotta tap on that bell because you get notifications when I put cool videos up like this. That's it, I'm going back home, and I'll see y'all at the next one.